Hello, everybody. Uh, I am Brother Luke. For those of you who don't know me, and uh, for the rest of you who may have almost forgotten me, I am Brother Luke. <laughs> well, um, if you've been following my channel, Brother Luke, and if you've been following our church channel, Church of the Eternally Secure, uh, you're aware that there is a, a temporary hiatus going on. Um, it's already been a couple of months, and uh, it probably will be a little bit longer before we can uh, get our programs up and running again. Um, Sister Renee has all the equipment that's needed now, so it's just a matter of how long it takes her to learn to produce a program. Uh, and once that happens, uh, we'll have our Sunday church service back our Wednesday night Bible study, and our Fun Fellowship Friday. So um, please uh, bear with us. Uh, we, will, we will get it back as soon as possible. Uh, I th think I told you in a recent video that uh, I've been busy doing some things locally here. Uh, I've got a, a local church I'm attending that is really quite a blessing to me, Brother Roy, who many of you uh, know now. Uh, his channel is Old School Bible Baptist. Um, he he uh, told me about this church, so I started attending it with him. And uh, it turns out that uh, at that church, there's a group of um, street evangelists. Uh, um, Brother uh, Allen uh, leads the group, and uh, he's been leading it for many years. And uh, so I was curious. Uh, I, I told uh, them about my experiences uh, doing the street preaching and my concerns about uh, um, most street preachers are preaching a false gospel and most street preachers have a, 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 a hateful demeanor. Uh, so those were my main concerns, but uh, it turned out that uh, Brother Allen and his uh, group is uh, just doing an excellent job. So I was quite pleased and happy to, to join them in their efforts. So I've been going out every Thursday night with them uh, to Fremont Street. It's a, one of the main tourist attractions in Las Vegas. And on uh, Fremont Street and uh, Casino Center Drive on that intersection, we set up camp and do our street preaching. Uh, you've seen Brother Roy's uh, videos of him street preaching. I've, I've recorded uh, those videos and I'll probably upload a video of me street preaching here uh, again pretty soon, but there's plenty of videos of you seeing me street preaching in the past. But uh, now uh, I'm officially on the team, and so let me show you what they gave me. This is a shirt that uh, we all wear, showing that we're all part of the same ministry. It's the way, the truth, and the life, and on the back, it has the way, the truth, and the life, but a little bit more detail. Oops, now which way I'm moving. There you go. Oh, okay. So that's what the t-shirt, this is what we wear kind of as our uniform. And Brother Allen has uh, Bible tracts uh, donated to, to us. Uh, we have tens of thousands of tracts uh, at any given day available. And I've perused the different tracks, and the, the, this is the particular track that, that I, uh, I'm personally passing out. Everybody's free to pick whatever tracks that they like best. So I, I take this approach, uh, are you a Christian? My street preaching uh, is, uh, of course, you, you've seen it before, you know what I do, but uh, I, I'm trying to take a very direct approach because uh, Many of these people, we only get to talk to them for a matter of seconds, uh, maybe five, ten seconds, sometimes 30 seconds or a minute. Uh, so you have to be able to get right to the point. So uh, my message basically is I ask everybody, are you saved? What? Am I saved? Sometimes they ignore me. I say, well, do you want to be saved? Do you know what you need to do to get saved? And uh, sometimes people will say, yes, I'm saved. I say, well, how? How did you get saved? What did you do? I want to, I want to find out what they believe uh, they needed to do or what they did 
that got him saved. And um, most people, if they do say, yes, I'm, I'm saved, uh, I ask you, how, why? How did you get saved? What did you do? They say, well, I go to church. Or, uh, you know, uh, I love God or something. Or something like that. And uh, I have to say, well, no. You, Jesus has to be your savior. If you have to believe Jesus is your savior, you have to believe you're going to go to heaven because Jesus promised it to you. Jesus paid for your sins. He promised you your place in heaven and eternal life. So it's a very simple approach, but I recommend this approach to everybody. Now, you know, you've heard me talking about this concept over the years. Uh, you, you need to get right to the point, find out if they're saved, how do you do that? You find out what they believe. Uh, are you saved? Why? How'd you do it? What, what got you saved? And uh, most of the time, they're not going to tell you what we'd like to hear, that I'm saved because Jesus is my Savior. Jesus paid for my sins. Jesus promised me eternal life. That's what I want to hear. Um, so that's what I've been up to. And so uh, this is Thursday uh, in a few hours. So we'll... we'll what we do is we rendezvous uh, at 5.30 p.m. and then we go to a restaurant in one of the casinos on Fremont Street and have a, a dinner together and have some fellowship. Uh, and then we go out to our spot on Fremont Street and Casino Center Drive and preach there for usually at least two or three hours. Um, it's been really, really hot. Out. Of course, Las Vegas is hotter than most places anyway, but in the summertime, it's uh, usually the temperatures are 110 to 115, but uh, on Fremont Street, um, it probably gets to be more than 120 degrees out there. But once the sun goes down, it's it's not as bad. So it, it's, uh, but the fellowship and the opportunities to uh, share the gospel, spread the seeds, uh, and uh, there are, every, every night, it seems that there's a handful of people that come to faith in Jesus because of our ministry. So um, people sometimes will ask, well, do you have any success? Do you get results? Well, you, like, you think a result is when someone says, okay, yes, I'm convinced, I believe. I believe Jesus is my Savior now. And uh, that's what we'd like to hear, but we don't want to coerce that from someone. But even if we don't ever get that um, confession of faith from someone, we're planting seeds or we're watering what's been planted before. So yes, we, we always get results, but it's such a joy and a privilege to be able to go out and share the gospel, be an ambassador for Christ. Uh, so that's what I've been up to, and uh, hopefully this will be an encouragement for some of you to maybe, if, if nothing else, just make sure your family and your friends, you tell them the good news. All right, thank you for listening, and uh, I look forward to getting our uh, church programs uh, up and running again as soon as possible. Um, believe me, that's, that's what we want. Uh, so pray for us, and hopefully very soon we'll have our Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday programs up again. Bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.